guys, Roxy Sims here. Today I'm doing a Mexican restaurant speed build. Yay! So, funny thing, I realized that I'm putting out a Mexican restaurant on Cinco de Mayo. But here's the honest to God truth. I had no idea that it was Cinco de Mayo when I started making this. Not a single idea. Which is hilarious because all day yesterday... I was doing May the 4th stuff. May the 4th be with you, by the way. And I, I can't believe that I didn't realize that today was Cinco de Mayo and I'm putting out a Mexican restaurant. I think that is so funny. Like, what are the odds of that? So anyways, I am excited about doing a Mexican restaurant because Mexican food is one of the best foods probably ever, if not the best. I mean, doesn't everyone think that? I I do... Okay, guys, um, bear with me on this one. I do have a very controversial and divisive opinion coming. I don't like avocados. Guys, they just... I, I can't believe... Okay, I can't believe you guys like them. Well, I say you guys as... In most of the world. But they they taste like nothing to me. They taste like flavorless mush. Oh, is it is it some trick? Are you guys all on in on some trick to make me believe that you like avocados? Cause I just really can't believe it. And you know I'm really on to something though, because on the uh, on the show Teen Titans Go. I love that show, by the way. I'm an adult, but I love that show. Um, they have an entire episode talking about how flavorless avocados are. For reals. Watch it if you haven't. They... Okay, so Robin hates anything with flavor. Like, even even a grain of salt, he, he hates that much flavor. And so the group literally is like, Hey! We've got the best thing for you. You hate flavor. Why don't you eat avocado? And he's like, an avocado? And they're like, yeah, try it. He eats it and he's like, oh, it's the least flavorful thing on the planet. And he loves it, of course. So, and you know, if it's on Teen Titans Go, then it must be true. Just like the internet. So yeah, guys. Avocado. Flavorless mush. Avocado toast? Don't you mean flavorless mush toast? So, sorry. Sorry if this has hurt some feelings along the way. I just really needed to get that out. Back to the build. So, yes, as you could see, I was putting some lights, some string lights, over the back patio. I figure, like, Saturday, maybe Friday nights, they have live music bands, and it's like a real good party place and, and then I, I get really funky with the colors and um, with the with the terracotta tiles too get real funky with those um, put like a diamond pattern in there and I just had a lot of fun with it it was a lot of fun just filling this place up to the brim with as much stuff as I could really uh, I do want to say that this is not a restaurant in Mexico. This is an Americanized Mexican restaurant like Tex-Mex. Tex-Mex is what we call it. Um, that's, you know, what I was going for. I haven't been to a restaurant in Mexico, so I, I couldn't really tell you what those look like. Maybe they look like this. That would be cool. But Tex-Mex is what I was going for. Like I said, I've never been to Mexico, but I would love to go there. I, I'd love to go pretty much anywhere. If I had the money, I'd never be home. I'd be gone all the time exploring everywhere. I have uh, lived in another country before though. I'm, I'm American. I live in America, but I have lived in Germany before. I've lived there um, for four years about, my dad, he was in the army and we were stationed in Frankfurt, Germany. 
um, my mom didn't want to be without him for that long, so she packed the house up, packed me up, and we went to Germany. So that was a cool experience. I was pretty little though, so unfortunately I don't remember everything about it. I definitely want to go back and, you know, remember and see everything again, really. Uh, the only thing that I, I vividly remember is because it traumatized me completely. <laughs> so we went to this amusement park kind of place in Germany. I don't remember what it's called for the life of me. I, I should have Googled it, but I, I totally don't remember the name. But I remember the experience uh, because there's this ride. I'd say I was probably four years old. And there was this ride that you, you are riding into this huge rhinoceros's mouth. And I see it coming up where you go into the, the rhino's mouth. And I'm terrified. I, I, I guess my four-year-old brain thought, that's a real rhino, and I'm dying in a few minutes, a few seconds. <laughs> so it's, honest to God, it traumatized the crap out of me. <laughs> if, if you are from Germany or you have a friend who's from Germany, please let me know what that place is. I'm guessing it was near Frankfurt since that's where I lived, but I'm not completely sure. So I, I would love to look that place up again though. As you can see here, I put everything that I'm going to use, such as the clutter and all the pictures that I'm going to use. I pick all those things out and I put them on the floor. I do that while I'm not recording because, oh my goodness, if I didn't do that in the first few videos that I made, seriously, it took so long, and I just, I, I can't have the videos that long. First of all, who wants to watch, you know, 35 minute long video? Not everyone, and second of all, the longer that I make it, the longer that I have to come up with stuff to talk about, and guys, that's kind of hard. I, I don't get the hang of it yet. I'm doing my best though. I, I promise I'll try harder. And I promise I'll do better. <laughs> right. So what are you supposed to talk about for 15 minutes straight to yourself? I mean, don't get me wrong. I talk to myself all day long. Like literally all day long. But I can't exactly record that because... They're the incoherent ramblings of a madwoman. And I know I'm talking to you and not really to myself, but still, the conversation's a little one-sided if you're catching my drift, if you're picking up what I'm throwing down, etc, etc. Maybe I should make the whole rest of the voiceover all about how weird it is to make voiceovers. I think that would go over really well, don't you? <laughs> Maybe not. I think I'll think of something else. The way I said that made me think, uh, I think I'll eat it now. Which, hopefully you know what that's from. Hopefully you get the reference. Guys, I think I'm losing my mind a little bit. Maybe, maybe just a little. I, I'm decorating the kitchen. This, okay, so kitchens in restaurants, not that fun to decorate for me. I don't know why. I know some people feel that way about bathrooms. Like it's their least favorite things to decorate. But restaurant kitchens have got to be up there on the list for me. House kitchens? Totally fine. Restaurant kitchens? I don't know. All of a sudden it just... My love for restaurant kitchens does not match my love for home kitchens, I guess. So I tested out this restaurant. Everything works. Everything seems to work just fine. Works like a regular old restaurant. Oh, here I am doing the patio. So when I was testing out the restaurant, I hired some people to play the music. 
And I think it's hilarious that all you get when you hire a service, when you hire someone to come play piano or play guitar or something, all you get is someone dressed to the nines, like a suit, a ball gown, you know? And I just want to be like, Madame, your attire is not appropriate for this venue. So I wish you could change that. Why can't you change that? What they're wearing, what, like same with a bartender. Oh wait, or, or is there a way to change it? Am I just a dummy that doesn't know how to play The Sims? Or can you really not change that? Your guess is as good as mine. So I made a Mexican restaurant in this game before. But I gotta tell ya, um, I'm really liking the Jungle Adventure Pack. That pack, it really added a lot of decor to the game. But also food. The food for it works really well in this too. So I'm loving it. I think it's great. I also, I want to make some more things. Some more uh, jungle adventure builds. I've only made a few. I want to make a, a tree house. I love tree houses. But everyone else has been doing tree houses. So I don't know. I guess I got burn out by tree houses just watching other people make them. Uh, I need to get off of YouTube a little bit, maybe. Well, guys, I better get out of here because we're getting to the end of the video. Screenshots are coming soon. So I just wanted to say thank you so, so, so much for watching and let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!